Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you all how to inject emulators into your Wii U. Now what this is basically going to do is create a forwarder that lets you play the emulators that are on your VWi. Now if you haven't seen my previous video where I show you how to set up all sorts of emulators on that, you might want to check that out because a lot of these have to be configured already before we can continue. So uh, let's just jump right into it. Okay, now that we're back on the PC, I'm going to show you guys the tools and things that we're going to be using here today. The first being UWU VCI. I've already covered this in two different videos, so I'm not going to cover the install part of this, but you are going to be grabbing this link here. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below. Once you have this program installed, you need to select the emulator that you want. And I'm going to be showing you two today. One's a simple one, Super Nintendo, and one that I found to be a little more difficult, and that's the Nintendo 64, but I'll get to that. So to start off, we'll do Super Nintendo. Now you're going to be grabbing all the uh, emulators that are for the VWi. So we have SNES 9X GX right here. I'm just going to open that up and hit download. And we're going to grab the zip. Now that's the first one. Now one thing that I noticed here is that if I go back, if I use the Wii 64 on here, it does not work. It, every time I try to inject it, it's just a black screen. So I had to find, a, I guess, a different fork of this, just of Moopin 64. So we're going to be downloading the Wii 64 Wii Virtual Console forwarder.dol and the Moopin 64 Fix 94 Zip. So we're going to be grabbing both of these here today. Next up is the N64 injection compatibility list. Now there's quite a few of these I believe for uh, different emulators, but what we're going to be doing here is just checking out the N64 because I'm going to be working with that a little more today. Now the game I'm going to be going with is F0X. You got the American version and it's in green and that means it's working. There's a chart right up front that tells you what games work and what games don't and it's pretty simple to follow. Now to start off, we'll go ahead and extract the Moopin 64. Just go to extract two and then extract the SNES 9X GX here. So right click, extract two, and then we can delete these two zips. And we're gonna open the UWU VCI AIO program. And we're gonna be injecting all these as Wii Virtual Consoles. So I've done this before in the past and the game that I used was Rhythm Heaven Fever. Let me just center this a little more. So once again, I used Rhythm Heaven Fever and if you don't have that game, you can use any of the others that are recommended here, or you can use a custom if you back up your own. So I already have Rhythm Heaven Fever. I have the base and title key and all that already entered. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is pick our file that we're doing. Now, since we're doing Super Nintendo, I'm just gonna go into the downloads folder here. We have SNES 9X GX here. And if we open it, you're gonna see we have the apps folder. I'm gonna open that, open this, and we have our boot.dol. That's what we're going to be injecting here today. Now the rest is just kind of all cosmetics. You can use uh, an icon image, a TV image, gamepad image, logo, boot sound, and game name. Since this one isn't the one I'm focusing on today, I'm just going to show you guys how that's done. Just Super Nintendo. And you just hit inject. It's pretty simple. There is an option that I missed up here for use gamepad that says do not use. You can switch that on and off and use it on or off, which I'll show you once we get to the N64 portion of this. Once you hit inject, you're just going to hit close, and then you're going to grab the WUP installable. Now when it's all complete, you're going to get something that says injection complete and open folder or copy to SD. I'm just going to go to open folder. And what this is going to do is give you all of the injections that you've made currently. I have quite a few. You can see these are all emulators here. And we did the Super Nintendo. So all I'm going to do is open up the SD card. We're going to go to install and drag the Super Nintendo folder in. Now that's pretty simple. But like I said earlier, you also need to have the emulators on your SD card. So if we just take a look here, you can see in my apps folder, I have SNES 9X GX with all that information. And if I go to the root of my SD, I also have an SNES 9X folder with the ROMs and everything that I'm going to be using. So if you don't have that set up, you might want to watch my previous video that shows setting up practically everything. But uh, yeah, moving on, let's start with the N64 now. Okay, so now Nintendo 64, this one's a little different. So like I was telling you earlier, the base Wii 64 that I had earlier just would not work. Maybe it's different for you. I can't really say for certain, but I know that this one worked for me. So what you're going to do is if you already have an N64 emulator installed, you're just going to be replacing files here. So Moopin 64 GC, for example, we're going to open that up. You're going to see we have apps and Wii 64. So all we're going to do is open up apps and open up the apps folder on our SD as well. 
and we're just going to throw in Wii 64. If you have this option, just click replace the files and destination. And now we're going to head back to the root. Now the next thing you're going to do is also replace the games folder that you keep your ROMs in. Just make sure that you uh, copy everything over. So again, open the Moopin64 folder. You'll see you have Wii 64. If you open that, you got ROMs and saves. We're just going to toss that right into here and replace the files in destination again. Now that's it as far as this goes. The only other thing that we have to do is put our ROM in, which I have one here. Uh, let me just minimize this. So if I open Wii 64, open ROMs, I'm just going to toss in F0X. And now that part's done. All we have to do now is just inject it. So opening up that tool again, go back to Wii, choose your base. Once again, I'm doing Rhythm Heaven Fever. Uh, before you select your, your path here, you're going to go to Use Gamepad As, and you'll see a drop-down menu. I'm just going to use it as a classic controller. Then you're going to go to Select File. And we're going to look for the uh, forwarder.dol that we downloaded earlier. So if we go to Icon Image here and Create File, you can go to Select File. And we'll have the icon that I created earlier. So I'll do N64. And you can choose how this looks. You can style it, make it have WiiWare or Wii Homebrew. So I'll leave it on Wii Homebrew for now. Do finish. Then you're going to do your TV image, which for me, for this purpose, I really don't care. So I'm going to use the same image. Now you can either leave this overlay on or off. This kind of blows up your image and uh, unless you have, unless you know the right size, it's just going to look bad. So I'm just going to leave it enabled. And you can stylize this as well with WiiWare. Uh, homebrew or alternative Wii, which if it's like a little virtual console, you can enter a name. So I can put uh, N64 emulation and players four, and then just hit finish. And next we'll do the gamepad, which this one's gonna be a little different. If we go to the downloads folder here, we go to Moopin64, go to apps, Wii 64, this already has an icon, so we have the Wii 64 PNG. I'm just going to click that. And uh, we'll leave that as it is. The logo image I'm going to skip, and we'll just go straight to boot sound. This will only play, I believe, five seconds of a clip, and it doesn't really matter how long of a song you put in. It just cuts it off automatically. So let me just toss in a song real fast. Next up, just name the whole thing. We're going to do Nintendo 64. And same process as earlier. We're going to do Inject. Once the inject is done, we're going to download the WUP installable. And from WUP installable, we're going to toss that in our install folder. But I'll go through the whole thing still. Just hit close to WUP installable. Give this one second. Go to open folder. Find your N64, which we just did. Go to your SD card. Go navigate to your install folder, which should be on the root of your SD and just drag the N64 folder right in there. And that's pretty much it. So now what we're gonna do is take the SD card out and head back over to the Wii U. All right, I'm just gonna be showing you guys this portion on the pad. The first thing that we're gonna do is make sure your custom firmware is already enabled just by opening the health and safety information. Or if you have an older version of custom firmware, however you would normally do it. Then we're gonna open up the Mii Maker or whatever you use to get to the homebrew launcher. Then we're going to look for our WUP installer. And I have WUP installer GX2. Just open that and hit load. And now we have to look for our Super Nintendo. And now we have to look for our Nintendo 64. And then we're just going to do install. It's going to ask you if you're sure. Hit yes. And where you want to install it, I recommend doing a USB flash drive or a, an external hard drive. The NAND's really not that safe because if you mess this up in any manner, it could have the potential to break your system. It's just safer to do it on USB instead. So hit that. And now it's going to be pretty quick because I believe they're about 10 megabytes a piece. And when
when it's all done, just hit OK. And if we head back to the main menu, you can see right here, the first icon that we did says UWU VCI, and that's because that's our Super Nintendo one that we didn't select an image for. But if you go down, we have our Nintendo 64 that we fully customized. So let's just go ahead and open that up and I'll see what it does. Same thing again, it's gonna say this software supports the Wii U gamepad. Do you wanna use it? Just hit yes. You're gonna get the brief song that I told you about. And once it fully loads, if you use the pad and use the D-pad, you'll be able to navigate around the menu settings here. We're gonna go to load ROM, load from SD, and you'll see we have F-Zero here this time. So let's just go ahead and select that. Hit OK, and play game. And look at that, works instantly. Now I'm not going to do too much gameplay like I usually do because I don't want the video to be too long, but I just want to show you guys a little bit of proof that this does work with the gamepad in case you run into any issues or problems. But uh, e even if that happens, feel free to join the Discord or uh, leave me a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, that is pretty much the gist of this video. All that's left is for me to drive around and try to win this race. and everything works fine. Now I can use the analog stick instead of the D-pad, so that's cool. I didn't know if that was a, a thing on the actual N64 as well. But uh, yeah, everything seems to be running good, and I'm gonna be ending things here. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me cover next, and I will see you guys next time. Adios.